Can you dig it, guys? It's your boy Dwarfy here. As you can see on screen, that's right, we have a brand new character. Look out, Albion, the goblin's on the loose. So stay tuned for new and exciting adventures. Grab a drink, kick back as I welcome you to Fame and Fortune. <laughs> Welcome to Fame and Fortune. This is going to be the brand new Albion series. I'm your host, Dwarfy. Uh, some of you guys may know me, some of you may not. I have been around uh, on Albion scene for a little while now, uh, since early alphas. Uh, I have recently decided to come back. Uh, and on screen right now, you're seeing a brand new character. Something that I decided I would do uh, for the viewing pleasure of you lovely people on YouTube. And for myself to try and challenge myself and, and, and see where I could get playing completely and utterly solo. That's right, for myself. I am not allowed to group up with anybody in Runner Hellgate. Uh, I can't go fame farm a dungeon with anybody. I decided that I'm going to play completely solo. So, the first thing I had to figure out was, what build do I want to be? Do I farm my own premium? And what type of content do I want to create for you guys? So, I decided that I was going to go with a full mage build. That's right, full cloth armor. And I thought, hmm, I don't really like to play casters. I'm going to play bows. Bows are very versatile in terms of longbow, being able to do very large AoEs early on. Pretty cheap, relatively easy to craft yourself as well. So, I thought bows would be a good option. And then I also have the option of the warbow, which uh, can then, therefore, be a, a pretty viable option for PvP. So, bows was my weapon of... Of choice and I set out trying to farm Albion. I tried to start collecting as much early resources as I could. Um, as you can see on screen right now, I was trying to gather up as many tier 2 foxes as I possibly could just to try and hit that quick early tier 3 and that didn't take me too long. So getting tier 3 unlocked didn't take very long at all, it was roughly about 35 minutes. Uh, and you can see there that I dropped some early learning points on those unlocks. Now, I decided that I wanted to craft and gather a lot of wood. Wood was going to be my basically early money maker. I was going to try and craft some bows, and I thought that would be a really good viable option to try and, you know, live off the land, so to speak. So I set out, I decided that I'm going to try and get as much tier 3, tier 4 wood as I can, level up my hatchet as fast as possible, uh, and basically just get on an ox and ride straight through these big, these big early zones and gather as much wood as I can. Uh, if I wasn't doing that, I was trying to I was trying to fame farm and kill mobs. Now, in my personal opinion, woodcutting is probably one of the easiest tools to actually get up the hatchet. There is quite an abundance of wood over across Albion, and uh, it didn't take very long at all for me to get up to the quick tier three hatchet, which would actually opened up the ability to cut tier 4 wood. Uh, there's a lot of flat 4 around the beginning zones and as you can see right now I did use my learning points. So now that I'd got my tier 3 weapon, my tier 3 armor, and I had a tier 3 hatchet, I decided that it was time for me to make some silver. And I thought, hey, what's the best way to do this? Then find some camps, some mob camps around the town, and start hunting chests. Now these chests have a decent amount of early game silver. It's not too much to, to some of these end game, mid game players and after about a day it kind of literally wasn't viable for me to actually kill these camps anymore. But early on it was really handy. Now these chests give like I said great amounts of silver early on and they can also drop items. Uh, I don't think I get lucky on this chest right here but they are decent and you're also getting a little bit of fame by killing the mobs that are surrounding these chests. Now this early silver was super 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 relevant to what I needed to do because I was trying to gear up for something that you're going to see at the end of the video uh, coming up very shortly. I actually was trying to make my way into something that a lot of people wouldn't go for on their first day. But you can see right here, I did get some expert runes uh, and I even got an Elder's Soul right there. That's a tier 8 soul and I think that's sold for, for a decent amount of money. You know, like 10k or something like that. To me, that's early. Early money like that is great. As you can see, my bank's only about 2k right now. So yeah, look, Elder's Soul like that, I can sell it instantly for 10 to 12k that's pretty decent so those chests were really really handy now there's also another thing in the game called hidden treasures now hidden treasures are out in the uh in the black zones and uh they can be a little bit uh you know sought after uh because thanks to the guys like lupak shout out thanks for making videos that make this so much harder for me because everybody and i mean everybody sees a hidden treasure now and they usually get off their horse and they will attack it kill it 
and just to see what it has. It's as simple as that. Now, I was out in the black zone, and I'm looking around. I'm going, okay, I need to find some of these hidden treasures. And yes, I did die. I died a couple of times. These gank squads really, really set me back. And it kind of sucked early on. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's like six guys chasing me. And I'm in, like, I think I'm in, like, tier three armor right there with a, with a tier four longbow. But this is how It happens. I'm not, too, I'm not too hurt over it. It is what it is. Now, stuff like this that you're seeing on screen right now, this was very interesting. I'd just come back through a portal. And I was like, okay, I'm getting ganked. Uh, and they happen to have two ravens. I get feared right there, I get feared again, and uh, without further ado, there's about 20 people storming in on me for my tier 3 horse. Now, I hope those boys enjoyed my loot, because guess what? I hope I found some of those guys in the next clip that I'm about to show you. And some of the things that we decide to tackle in the next video is on screen right now, so get prepared, because guess what? The second video is about to be crazy. I'll be uploading that hopefully within the week, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. I do apologize for my voiceover, but get ready.